When you are creating Simulink model, it is sometimes hassle that you open MATLAB to get initial values and go back to Simulink to run the model. And again, you go back to MATLAB to export the data. You need to go back and forth several times. However, if you learn how to use model callbacks, you don't need to worry about these things anymore. In this video, we will talk about what model callbacks is, how to use model callbacks, and the benefit of using model callbacks. The first question to answer is what are model callbacks? Model callbacks are something that allows you to take any actions at a specific time. Any action such as set the initial values and create the Excel file with your simulated result. And you can schedule these actions at a specific time. Specific time includes when you are loading the model, simulating the model, and saving or closing the model. You can pick whenever you want. Let's go to demo. This time, I'll use this mass spring dumper example to show you how to put in shell values by using model callbacks. Let's assume that we have already created this model, but the model is not completed yet. If we run the model, we will get the error because we don't have initial values yet. We need to get initial values of M and C and K in this case. If we don't know how to use model callbacks, let me show you how many steps we need to take to put initial values. First, we need to go to MATLAB to create a new script and put the all initial values and click run button. Save. Now, we have all initial values in workspace so that we can go back to Simlink, we can run the model. Let's go back to Simlink and run the model. This time, we successfully get the result because we put the initial values. However, if we choose this way, whenever we open Simlink model for the next time, we always have to define the values in the command window or we always have to create a MATLAB script to define the initial values. It takes a lot of time. So what can we do to eliminate this process? We can use model callbacks to solve this problem. Let me explain how to use model callbacks. First, let's delete all variables in script. Now we deleted all variables, so we cannot run the model anymore. To use model callbacks, first we need to find where the model callbacks are. Click model link, design, property inspector, and you can find callbacks below here. You can see preload button here. If we click this, we can see specific times such as before loading, after loading, when we start running the model, when we save the model, and when we close the model. We can take any actions at these points. This time, Let's put our initial values here. To make difference between last time and this time, I just put new initial values called test. And let's run the model. We get the result. And if we check MATLAB workspace, there is a new variable called test with the value 1, 2, 3. So if we know how to use model callbacks, we can do all actions in Simlink. Let's automatically export the data to Excel file. This block called to workspace can save the data into workspace. And this time, I choose the time when we close the model and type Excel right. And we can run the model and close the model. So now we can see Excel file here. Now let's talk about the benefits. Because you can remove your regular actions, you can save your runtime by using model callbacks. Once you set up pre and post processing, by using model callbacks, it will automatically do it for you. So you don't need to set pre and post processing anymore. These are the benefits of using model callbacks. Today I talked about what model callbacks are, how to use model callbacks, and the benefits of using model callbacks. Now it is time for you to use model callbacks with Simlink. To learn more about model callbacks, please check the documentation link in the video description. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it.